Hey guys, Jonathan here, uh, Colorado Custom Covers and Decks. I just want to go over how uh, we cut this fortress railing to go and put it in in between our posts. So a couple different ways. Some guys will go find center and then find center of uh, our space and then space it from there. I think that's a little bit of an extra step that we don't need to take. So this one we got 76 inches we, we need to go. So we're going to pull from the end, go all the way, 76, make our mark. And then our reveal we have over here is about four inches and over here we're ending up right on the right on the bar all right so we have to move this over to move this over two inches we move this over two inches measure Got about inch and three inch and five eighths over here inch and five eighths so now we got when we cut the make that mark and we cut sawzall sawzall cut those marks now we have equal space equal space we put it up on our post you look at it, everything looks nice and equal and good so after you cut it we've got to do they either got a spray paint or a pen that you can use to paint the ends so that uh you help seal the cut ends so that you don't have to worry about anything uh rusting or getting all nasty in there so we seal that up and we'll go from there so the biggest thing you want to make sure is that you have equal distance from each um each spindle to the post each spindle to the post so you don't want to have you know this much and then just an inch you know that's not going to look right it's going to be goofy so that's a little bit that's kind of the way we like to do it. it's a little bit faster than finding center finding center because even then finding center finding center sometimes you got to adjust it so that you have enough because you have to have enough to be able to fit in the collar which is about an inch so you got to have at least an inch from the spindle out to the end otherwise it won't fit in so you got to make sure of that too guys thanks for watching